CQ features a built-in gain sharing auto mic mixer, or AMM, which can be used across every mic input. AMMs are designed for use in speech applications and are particularly effective when using multiple microphones of the same type, like a conference, broadcast, podcast, or even some theater applications. When set up and used correctly, they can reduce background noise, improve clarity, and help prevent feedback. Go to the Config AMM screen to adjust settings and see the AMM working. At the top of the screen are two banks of channels, just like the two tabs of inputs on the processing screen. Touch a bank to view that range of channels. Below this is an in-out switch to switch the whole AMM in or out. The bottom half of the screen shows the available mono input channels. To include a microphone in the AMM, switch it on. A set amount of gain is then shared amongst all the channels in the AMM. When a signal is detected on one of the inputs, say with someone talking, that channel is given more gain at the same time as gain is removed from the other channels. In this way, the overall gain and level of the system stays consistent, but the person talking is heard above all other microphones. The faders for each channel in this screen control how much level is sent from that channel into the AMM calculation. These can be left at their default midpoint, increased for more important channels like a chairperson, or reduced for less important channels. With the follow fader option turned on, lowering the send level of a channel to the main LR will also lower the contribution of that channel to the AMM calculation. This allows unused channels to be faded out completely and they will no longer affect the gain given to other channels in the AMM. Muted channels are also not included in the AMM calculation, so at the bottom of each channel is a mute indicator. When a channel is in the AMM, this is indicated in the processing screen. Be aware of this when checking channels on headphones, as the listening point is sourced from the very end of each channel, so it includes any reduction of channel level due to the AMM.